Welcome to the Game Corner, another video game podcast. My name is Harrison. You might know me online as Rarix, and I am joined, as always, by friend and co-host. Rowan, you might know me as Mocha. Unfortunately, uh, Sheldon is not here with us today. Uh, it sounds like grad school is beating him up pretty bad, and I know that feel, but... <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, and we're also, we're so sorry we missed last week. Uh, just <laughs> life, life happens uh, in the worst ways sometimes. Yeah, uh, honestly, so. yeah. work, work, is, work is still beating me up. This is, this is my break for today. <laughs> I go back yeah. after this. this is, I, yeah. I think I also have to go back and do work after this, so it's going to be so much fun. But yeah, so besides, besides uh, what we just said, how are you doing? Good, good. Let's um, kind of humble brag here, but I, I won my first MSS, my first in-person tournament, which was a really good feel. Um, we've done tons of Georgia locals, and I've cut most of them, but uh, always fall short, either in semis or, or finals. So this is it's really cool to have it happen in an actual MSS where we had people come in from out of state, and there's uh, like a lot of day two players there. So yes. that, that felt awesome. Yeah, I definitely want to want to talk about that here in a bit. Um, and I, I saw on, on, on Twitter and, and everything, you're like, I, I won my MSS, next stop's Orlando. Are you going to take the same team to Orlando? I, it, it's looking like it. Um, so funny story, uh, I won with that. And then the very next day we had the regionals over in Brazil in, um, I cannot pronounce this. I should have looked it up on Google beforehand. Um, there's a lot of, uh, umlauts over, there's only one little umlaut. I'm, I'm just an uncultured American of uh, Guayana. That's definitely wrong, but I can't speak Portuguese. So anyway, that regional yesterday was not two days ago now, as of when we're recording. Um, exactly the same team won. Um, it's been this Japanese uh, kind of balance team. It's basically set up vault, the same kind of concept that I ran in Charlotte, but the uh, the offensive mode is way more <laughs> offensive with uh, Scarf, Shifu, and Chen Pao. So um yeah, I, it, it really clicks with me, and it turns out it clicks with quite a lot of people because it's it's strong and it does pretty well into a lot of the meta. I, to, I think I will uh, be keeping it at least for now. I'm keeping my options open. Orlando's in a month. True. Uh, according to a quick YouTube search, it's Goyonia. Goyonia. Okay. Okay. I will. So we can, try. that's probably still very poorly pronounced from both <laughs> of us. We can at least but... try, right? Thank you. <laughs> yes. No, I was like, I was like, so I I I definitely uh, heard what you just said. Didn't listen to it because I was listening to this instead. Um, but it sounds like your team is doing things and other people agree. Yeah, exactly. It's, <laughs> it's not spicy. It is uh, calm mind bolts, but uh, it clicks with me. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a balanced team, right? Is that what you said? It is. So yeah. the team is calm mind bolts, uh, goggles, incineroar, assault vest, uh, rillaboom, um, standard life orb, substitute, lander eye, sash chen pao, scarf, fu water. Yep, so, that sounds. That sounds. Uh, yeah. Uh, you have you have one mode where you no cycle fake out and pivot and intimidate while you set up your bolt and murder things, and then you have one. There's a cat screaming okay. at me to use a laser pointer, but he's gonna have to wait. Um, and then another mode that just goes fast and and hits you while also faking you out and cycling and intimidate. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think um, on on the note of Orlando uh, and and the next couple of weeks, I was looking trying to find a good balance team to 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 play, and I figuring there there wouldn't be a, any any sort of shortage of those um, because I think I need to get away from uh, gimmicks like uh, weather well, as much as I don't well, want to do that. Speaking of weather and gimmicks, oh no, tell me more. Yeah, well. <laughs> He, he says, not knowing that we talked about this before the episode started. Uh, so again, if you want to use that fancy Google tool again and tell me how exactly I'm supposed to pronounce Utrecht, which oh, is almost yeah. certainly not correct. Um, uh, Utrecht. <laughs> yeah, we were not. Uh, we were we were not here last week, but the weekend before that uh, was a big European special event, not a regional, because apparently. Uh... Oh, it is actually Utrecht. We oh, we got wow. we got. Oh. We're one, one. For, we're one for two. We're one for two. Um, <laughs> yeah, so apparently some European countries have strict enough gambling laws that they're not allowed to, that Pokemon is considered gambling there. Um, so they can't give away prize money, so they can't technically have a regional, so instead they call it a special event. But for all intents and purposes, outside of money, which, you know, money's nice. I, I would like $10,000 if I, if I won one of these things, right? So there, it is a regional, um, and you get a free world invite and everything uh, for winning. And uh, Nikhil Reddy, the manager of Team India, uh, Tayo, uh, Really awesome dude, great player. Um, he won with Articuno and Hail, not Hail Snow now. 
And as it turns out, it's really good. It's been taking the ladder by storm, and I'm kind of upset because A, my team doesn't have a great matchup into it, and B, it forces RNG on you because Articuno has Snow Cloak, which means that uh, everything has a pretty significant chance to miss in snow. So if you don't have your own weather, you are playing the RNG game. If you don't have your own weather or a 100% hit move. So Ursa Luna Blood Moon and uh, King Gambit players are eating really nice because uh, Couch Out Cleave ignores accuracy, and all of First Luna Blood Moon's attacks ignore accuracy because its ability is insane. Right. Um, okay. So yeah, you say that, and and I I knew this was coming. I have I have been no, I have not looked into. Uh, have you been in, based in Snowpilled for forever? Is that what you're gonna say? No, no, no. I've been under a rock. Um, which which I don't mean Sandstorm. I just mean I have not looked at Pokemon stuff and 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 since you tracked at least. Um, and, but I did see on Twitter, like the Articuno thing taking it by storm. Uh, I was excited to talk about it cause I wanted to see what, you know, what we all thought about it. Um, it is especially as you, settingly good. As, I, yeah. That's what it seems like. It seems like, it seems like it kind of, uh, almost came out of nowhere. Um, I mean, so except... I've been, I, 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 I didn't want to spoil I mean, first off, who's listening to me about this stuff. Right. But like, I didn't want to like give any kind of spoiler because i've been right. seeing tayo and uh, a couple of the guys in, in the india discord like discussing this team for like a few weeks and like oh this is silly this is, this is a, like a, a like a funny tayo team and, and then i saw here he was, it is and then i saw he was in cut i was like oh my god that's so funny um so i might i might just because i'm a i like weather i might give it a shot i think uh, you should um so you do have to be willing to click the funny button um and by yeah. that so, like, sometimes you will be out of snow and you sort of click Blizzard. Um, sometimes you just have to rely on not getting hit. I mean, the thing is that Articuno becomes insanely bulky in snow, even without Snow Cloak, like, even without mm -hmm. the chance to, like, it just eats super effective hits because you get Aurora Veil and the snow defensive boost up. And Articuno is already a pretty bulky mon. And then you add Terra Ice and Choice Specs and its Blizzards are hitting really hard. And then you just have Freeze RNG. Yep. Yep, yep, and yep. uh yeah and, and it also just goes offensive in the other modes too like you have an av bolt a water pond and a harkonine to like just cover your bad matchups which which is very real yeah and like besides besides the the the, the gimmick on this team right you the other four pokemon are pretty just good just yeah they're, they're good balanced mons they're good they're good stuffs right for, for what's going on right now so like it's not a bad even just a base. I your cat is he's he's gonna gonna ruin the audio. I'm sorry. I I, I uh, I'll just do this behind me the whole time. We'll be fine for the, for the next what like thirty minutes, forty minutes. No, it's interesting because because may, maybe 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 that's what I want, right? Like having wanting to to go into balance stuff, but still have some weather because that's that's I don't know. That's my if my if Becca wants food. to make people sad when they see her team, she should run that too. Like. She's not playing in Orlando. Oh, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, she's, you gotta, just, she's just you, showing up. You've, you've got to take the torch then. Yeah. Yeah. Like, genuinely, it's so frustrating because a lot of the times the, the best move is to just Terra and double the Articuno and pray that you don't miss. But you do the math and you only, if you use two 100% accurate moves into Articuno, you still only have like a 60 something percent chance to hit both of them. That's amazing. And if you don't do it with something really fast, then you will do so after uh, Ninetales gets the Aurora Veil up. So even if you hit it, you're not going to hit it very hard. I see. And yeah, it's I'll, got Intimidate, uh, and it's got Snarl on AV Bolt, so like it's got... I'll, yeah, give it a, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I have to. Oh, it's so funny. But yeah, so do we want... So we have, we have Utrecht, and we have... I'm already going to mess this up. Goyanya. Goyanya, yeah. Uh, I I think what what messes me up about that is a I don't know Portuguese and b it's got the little hat over the a yeah you, which you, I think you is an awe you sound. get intimidated oh. by it's, I don't even think that's an umlaut because it's like a it's no like an, an umlaut yeah. is the two it's, dots yeah 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 I, I don't even know what that's called but yeah you you get distracted by that and then you miss it there's an i before the a at the end like it makes sense Goyonia. Goyonia. Goyonia? Goyonia. I think you said Goyonia. Oh, what Goyonia. anyway I Brazil. can't wait. I can't wait to see what the like auto captions say for all of this. I I won't fix it. Both of us having a stroke. That too. Um. Okay, so do we want do we want to just take a quick look at kind of the top? I have both eight. of them pulled up. I would yeah. say that I think that uh, Utrecht was had significantly spicier teams. 
Agreed. Uh, even snow notwithstanding. In Brazil. I also, I also just uh, noticed the that... teams were very standard. Although the fact that Hard Trick Room got second was was very cool, and apparently Hard Trick Room won a couple tours over the weekend too. So, um, like Ooh. online ones. So that that alone means I, it's kind of cool. Hard Trick Room is a real archetype. I've been saying that since the beginning of the format, but I feel like it fell off, and it it's still good. Like you have to have a matchup into it. Oh, yeah, Dylan Dylan Therese here with with in second place and Boyonia. Um, with basically the team that we were trying to it's exactly the team workshop that, uh, that Kevin and Kevin Bruno, Bruno brought to uh to Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. I say we like I had anything to do with it. No, it's 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 <laughs> yeah. two completely different members of our little group. Yeah, we're working uh, on. Then uh, Pedro Fialdini. Uh, Fialdini. Yes. Yeah. He, uh, he he won the whole event. Yeah. I think literally exactly the same team that I ran. Um. Mm-hmm. For my for mine and this has been going around. There's been a Japanese player who popularized it like maybe a month back, and uh, they put a team report out. And translation is slow, um, but uh, it it does seem to have like finally made its way out. And Stellar Terra Chen Pao is so good. I we were talking about this like a while a while back, a while but, ago, yeah. But I, th- I thought Stella, that it, when... I thought it might have been a tr- like just a gimmick or a trend or anything, but it actually ended up being so huge because um. So here's what I thought was cool. So um. Gabriel Agati, like Agati has been just one of the best players of all time, not not just in South America, like period the world, right? Mm-hmm. Um and uh he brought almost exactly the same team, but in place of the Landris, he brought a Volcarona. Um Ooh. and at first glance, and maybe in general, maybe Agati decides this isn't the play because he he lost in the the mirror, the mirror minus Volcarona. Um it's a Terra Fairy Volcarona with Quiver Dance and Terra Blast. So I think the idea on this is to win the mirror, because if you think about it, uh, Raging Bolt, setup Raging Bolt is like, it's scary, but it's also weirdly fragile because you have two moves to attack. One of them is Dragon, so you can't touch fairies. And the other one is a uh, Sucker Punch clone, right? So yep. you can only attack with it if they attack. If they attack. So you end up with a Volcarona Raging Bolt endgame. If Volcarona has its Terra, it just gets to click Quiver Dance until it's at plus six, plus six. Yep, and it has very high special defense, and it has that Terra Fairy, a uh, Fairy Terra Blast, whatever. So, like, you're yeah, it, it does very well into that mirror. But supposedly, at least you'd think, just logically, it makes sense. But uh, Agati went up against the winner of the tournament and lost two zero because te- Stellar Terra Chen Pao is just like okay, you went and fought me, like Fairy Terra on your Volcarona. That means I can like Stellar Terra Ice Cold Crash you and just like murder your Volk that has really bad physical defense and so it didn't work out um it does kind of patch snow though um exactly the team that uh the Tayo won with mm-hmm. the weekend before if you have a quiver dance up on your Volcarona like all of a sudden uh you super don't care about blizzards true like Good you gotta point. play around the Harkonine but that's pretty much it yeah, yeah yeah and you have and you have Incineroar for that the the Harkonine is Oh gosh, I lost that team already. Oh yeah, the Harkonine is the only physical. No, you have Wellspring or Rupon too. Yeah, and Wellspring or is a bit of a pain too. But yeah, you have Incineroar yeah. to intimidate. You have Rillaboom to fake out and Woodhammer the the Ogre Pond, and you have Urshifu to just straight up murder yep. the, the Harkonine as well, right? So, yep. um, I I think it's like the Volcarona is a very cool adaptation, but at the same time, it feels extremely redundant with the Raging Bolt, like. You have a Calm Mind Bolt and a Quiver Dance Will Corona, and Quiver Dance is just better Calm Mind, so you basically have two Calm Mind setup mods on the same team. It feels then, like you... a, a first iteration of an idea that someone yeah. like Agati would like eventually refine for Worlds or something like that. Yeah, is there anything to say for like you just have two different modes? Like you're probably not going to bring both of them at the same time, right? Right, but it is a little awkward to dedicate two out of your six slots to sure. the same thing, but with different types, right? Yeah, I guess uh, I, I, I don't know. obviously Agati is a million times better player than me, so who knows like what sure. his thought process was if this was like something he really thought out of or is just like this is an iteration. But like I feel like you could do the same thing, but with like a different kind of bolt in that slot. I don't know. Or I don't know. Um, it it is um on on the same on on the note of looking at at these these top teams here, looking at Oyonia. Um, I want to keep saying it until I get it right. And I, I might be well past that point. Well, you, you have nothing to correct you, so I have no idea if you're getting better or worse. Yeah, over the time. comments might. <laughs> oh. Um, it is fun to see. We always have the same cycle of of discussion throughout every regulation since we started this podcast. Really, uh, it's like, oh, look, new regulation. It's wild. Oh, it's starting to to, to settle. Oh, we got to see yeah. them. And now we're seeing again. We're at the point in regulation F where we're really seeing 
uh, the the staple mons show up, and we're seeing yeah. a lot of these duplicate mons. But, in, in the top but they're eight. doing them in really cool ways, right? Yes. The the format stabilized and all of a sudden someone comes out with a haymaker with something really weird like Articuno because it was like okay if the format has stabilized to a degree that you know that there are like this many archetypes maybe 10 to 15 teams sure. that are like every every team you face for the most part is going to fall into one of those buckets mm -hmm. then you can start saying like okay I can build a weird counter meta, meta team that has plans for all of these things even if it might lose to something weird I'm probably not going to see something super weird I'm going to see one of these things so I can make my weird thing encounter that and that's that's what Tayo did, and I think a lot of people are doing similar stuff now. Like um, even with mons that uh, are very normal, if you look at Sebastian uh, Bisball here, uh, I haven't seen any life orb raging bolt at all. And all of a sudden, you uh, uh, you toss that on. I think offensive bolt is extremely underexplored. You have combine sure. stuff that takes multiple turns to set up and has ex like a very awkwardly limited move pool. And you have AV Bolt, which is more of like a, it's almost a support that does some damage, right? Like it it has Raging Bolt special attack stat, but it has no boosts and it runs Snarl and E Web half the time, so like it's not doing a ton. You know, all of a sudden, you put out Life Orb plus Thunderbolt, and it's it's gonna it's gonna smack you. Like people forget that this thing is stronger than Bluttermain, and and it can it can just out of the gate, right? Like not having to set up or anything. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 And it has life orbs, so you can pivot. I'm. I want to see people start using bolt switch on the thing too. Like, ooh, interesting. A bulky pivot that actually does crazy damage with its pivot move. Like, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen more of that either. That's what I'll do. I will uh, take a Palafin Rain team and pivot out using Raging Bolt instead of Iron Hands. That's gonna be if Urshifu and Ogre Pond Water didn't exist, that would be that would be a call. Oh man, I'm. I am still sad that Palafin did not uh, have more time in the spotlight, but Urshifu, Water, and Water Ogre Pod are also two of my favorite Pokemon in, up, in, up in there, too. It's, it's a good time for Physical Waters, just all three of them. I think um, he's in the gang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Palafin off on the sidelines, like, I want to tag me in, coach. No. You're done. Um, but yeah, so to to, to go uh, back to the, the, the that right? raging bolt is obviously a staple, a huge staple that came out of regulation F. Uh, Water pond uh, won the war to be the the ogre pond to, that everyone cares about and is playing. That's cool. Um, and there's still variation. Uh, I, I don't know about how much in, in water pond, but there's at least two to four ways you can run raging bolt. Yeah, I would say Viably? Water, pond, water Pond, there's no variation apart from EVs. Like, you uh, you either run yeah. Adamant and Bulky, or you run Jolly and or outspeed uh, Lando Eye. But it always, you're, you're has, always... It always has the same four moves. Some people yeah. get spicy and run Woodhammer or Power Whip over Horn Leech, but I think Horn Leech is just correct most of the time. But yeah, yeah. Bolt is, like, reminding me a lot about a lot of Fluttermane, um, not in terms of its actual role, but in terms of its versatility. Mm -hmm. Like... Mm -hmm. You can you can run booster, you can run AV, you can run leftovers, you can run life orb apparently. Like and you can run magnet. I think uh I think Wolfie made a really one, deep yeah. run in an online tour with, with Magnet as well. Actually, really cool stuff. Um Magnet, Terra Electric, and Torkoal with Helping Hand. Ooh. Did you know that you can Oko a Fluttermane with Thunderclap with all those things together? <laughs> like a bulky Fluttermane. Honestly, I would hope so. Well but Fluttermane has 135 base yeah, special. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's like, fair. Yeah. I guess that's fair. I don't know, like, you, you're kind of throwing all of your eggs yeah, in it's one basket. Yeah, so many, so many multipliers, right? Yeah. And that's the thing, if they don't attack, then you're screwed, but tons of Flutter mains have run choice specs, and, like, right. after Wolfie won with it, I feel like people are aware, but generally you just... It won't be as common, yeah. You, you see someone lead a dragon, a slow dragon, into your Flutter main, and you're like, I can click Moonblast into this. Uh, no, you right. can't. You will die. Try again. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of stuff there, and, and, and I feel like the... Uh, other Pokemon that we see over and over again, right? They're not... What am I looking for? There's still enough of them where there's a lot of variation in teams. It's not like there are five Pokemon you always run. Or four no, Pokemon. I, I would say no, there's, there's, like, there's, there's a solid 30 to 40 that are like right. actually doing well in the meta right now, which is really yeah. cool. Um, if you look at Utrecht and scroll scroll down past the top eight, because um, obviously sure. like, Articuno catches your eye, right? Look at ninth place. Holy crap, that's not a team. That correct. That is a that is an Iron Boulder and an Okie Dogie in ninth place at a regional yeah. level event. It was crazy. The Okie Dogie running upper hand too, because because Incineroar and Rillaboom are everywhere. Like mm -hmm. no, you may not you may not fake me out. 
And that's a big deal because they have a choice band Iron Boulder. So like, what is the one thing it's scared of is is getting faked out if it's a band? I'm like, nope. You don't get to do that. Yeah, there's there's still a lot going on here. Actually, I'm, I'm happy to see uh, a Pelipper did so well in Utrecht too. Oh yeah, yeah, seventeenth I... place. I'm sorry, P- Pelly, uh, like Arch Rain is still a very real archetype. Um, oh, that, that's... One that I didn't, ex- mm, I didn't play with that either. Mm. I mean, it's been an archetype since the beginning of the format. It, it, it's, an, it's a weird one because um, it always does reasonably well, but it never cuts. So everybody wonders, right. like, is this like, <sighs> is it just under or is it just not yeah, I, perfected yet? I think a lot of folks might think it's like kind of a mid archetype. Like it's it's yeah. definitely good enough for any like. Anyone can you you can definitely win sets with it, but you're probably never winning a regional with it. But I mean, it's good. Like it has all the elements. I don't know. At some point, it just comes down to the players running it. Yeah, and this is an interesting one too because it looks like it's uh you know you have Dustclops and uh, Ursaluna there, making it a slow trick room version of this team. Yeah, that that, that is an interesting one. Um, yeah, because your your core is really Peli Arch. In Sinamugus, and then most people go with a Scarf or Chifu and a Fluttermane. Um, but there's been a lot of variation. Baxcalibur is really good into that because the team has trouble with grass types. So mm-hmm. you just add something that Icicle crashes it and is pretty bulky. And Baxcalibur absolutely makes Raging Vault very sad. Sure. You absolutely. Get Glaive Rush and it's over. Yep. Ah. Either way, there's the point. The point of this rambling is there's so much that's still an option here like the the it's regulation f seems to settle but it doesn't seem to settle uh yeah. so solidly as it has in the past this is other, this other is i think i think this is my favorite format of the generation i like reg a is kind of this like mythological thing at this point because we never really got to see where it would go we got to play it for a right. month i think everybody would have loved to play it for longer but i don't know if it was actually the best format like dondozo was very strong in it to the point like it was it was so over centralizing that every team had like at least one to two like dedicated dondozo counters so like yep maybe it was it would have been a terrible format if we let it go on for two to three months but we'll never know um of all the ones that i actually got to play and and explore properly like this is, i think this is by far my favorite you also want an MSS in it, so of course. I felt that way beforehand, but I definitely do now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, feel, I, I get it. Um, yeah. I, I'm on record as saying that two weeks ago. That's, I, I think that is true, yes. I, I, we, we could, we could, we could we pull the we tapes. Pull up, pull up that clip. I won't do an editing, I promise you. Um, yeah. Yeah, and honestly, I think we're also seeing some, for, some archetypes fall out of favor, too. Like, um... It always has one to two showings, but I, I am of the opinion that Gouging Fire is not as good as people think it is. People wanted to make it work, and... And, and I mean, I think... it, it does... It, good players make it work, but I feel like it is just good players carrying it more than it actually being good. There was one, yeah. It had one appearance in, in the top eight of uh, Goyanya. Goyonia. Was it? Was it? Goyonia. Goyonia. Yeah, it had, oh, was there, yeah. It had one appearance in top eight for there, and then I don't see another one. The next one is 23rd. 23rd, and yeah, then, and in uh and in Utrecht there isn't a single one in top eight from what I can see. First one's in twenty also twenty third. Yeah, wow, okay, yeah. So like and I actually played against three of them at the MSS and really? my team has a fantastic matchup into it. It was wonderful. So was like, what, you... what is Gouging Fire trying to do, right? Because it's it, trying it, to it, do it is booster speed and howl. Or so it's a fast support with it's a yeah, and Burning Bulwark, I actually think, is mid, personally. I think that being vulnerable to Parting Shot and Spore when you protect is kind of bad, actually. Like, sure. when, I, when I ran my own version of it, I just put Protect on it. But, like, and so I, a, a, I think that is just a big pitfall people fall into. They, it's like the I format, keep forgetting the, it's not good. Like, the, for, I, I, the format I where you introduce it. Incineroar and you're going to run a physical attacker who can't protect from Parting Shot, like, that, that seems wrong to me. But yeah, um, And then the other thing is that... So it runs next to King Gambit a lot of the time. The idea is you want to discourage Incineroar, right? But King Gambit has a massive weakness to close combat. So you almost, or any fighting move, but close combat is the most common one at this point, because there are Shifus everywhere. Yep. So you end up, like, two of the most common Pokemon in the format are Urshifu and Incineroar. Okay, I'm just going to give you Defiant. I'm going to fake out your, I'm going to fake out one of the two, probably the, probably the, uh, the Fire, and just close combat. You have to Terra. 
and then you've already burned your Terra and you're vulnerable to Wicked Blow. Like, yep. it just, yeah, it, it, it seems rough. And then, like, Terra Fairy Bolt was just like, okay, I don't care about your breaking swipes. <laughs> and i can just set up call mine in your face like yeah it's it seems i i don't know if there would have been a if it like if it came out in a different regulation would it have had a better chance well i mean and it still does like it, it, it's hard to say because it's not a bad or like i i think it's not as good as people think it is but it's not bad like people have won events with it people top cut with it relatively regularly it's just like you compare it to other archetypes that just have multiple placings in in every event uh it mm. yeah, I, I don't know like it is very cool to get multiple howl boosts on a king gambit or on a um on a, a av dragonite with one to two howls on it suddenly you are an av dragonite with the power of a choice band dragonite yeah that, that's wreck and shop pretty fast yeah exactly mm. Mm. yeah i i i see i i feel like it ended up being more of a like gimmick is not the right word but like niche single use or, I think it's or higher, use. at the very least it's higher skill than i think people are giving it credit I'll, for i will accept that yes i think that makes sense but yeah i don't know that's what other pokemon or, or archetype do you think has fallen off more and towards the end of regulation F? uh dozo i guess like but we had a you, dozo in. You have we had one. There's one dozo in Utrecht, and zero in Goyanya. Um, yeah, I don't see any dozo in Goyanya, even if you scroll down. You see a you see an Articuno Golar before you see one. Oh yeah, I'm looking. I'm even scrolling down in Utrecht, and I'm not seeing another dozo. So yeah, okay, fair enough. Dozo's gone. Yeah, and that is directly correlated with Urshifu single strike becoming super popular. Um, 84. And you even if you're next. not damage boosting, just Terra Dark Wicked Blow does almost 50% or sometimes more than 50% to a boosted Dozo. Wow. Yep. Okay. Fair enough. That makes and if you have Sash, you get two of them off. Like. <laughs> yep. That's, that is enough to kill that archetype. For sure. Yep. That's. Uh. That's. That's Pokemon. There's. I I need to I need to go back and watch streams or something. I can I can understand more of what's going on and all of this, but it is interesting to see things continue to change, even if we're just looking at the top eight of these two of all these regionals that are coming up. Yeah. You gotta hit me up for practice sometime, man. Yes, yes, I know. I was I was gonna I was gonna talk about that after recording. <laughs> um because I, I've got questions. But yeah, no, there's I don't know. It's it's fun. To, to to see this, and I'm ex I'm excited for Orlando, despite having put in not a whole lot of effort for that so far. Yay! But that's just me. In speaking of future Pokemon stuff, uh, what did we say? There's we've got Orlando there's... coming up, and we've got Vancouver in a week, I believe. So Vancouver, unfortunately, yeah. that is way further away than Toronto. Canada is a weirdly large country. Sure. But uh, so yeah, it's it's actually just West Coast and like further away than anything in California or Washington or like that. But uh but yeah, it should be a big one just Vancouver is is like at like the exact opposite corner of this continent from us. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. So I I'm not I'm not going personally. No. I, I like I, after this last one I might try to travel a little bit more, but um like, I think Worlds is still way out of striking distance for me right now just because I took the beginning of the season off for uh for family stuff. So mm -hmm. but yeah I Definitely not traveling that far, but it should be big. There's a lot of really good Canadian players who don't get to go to a lot of events, um, or if they do, they have to really travel. So, um, I mean, granted, again, Canada's huge, so for them, it might be just as big of a flight or close to it. Sure, but hopefully, but no I mean, passport's a big deal. Yes, easier to to, to do within country. Uh, do we know anyone going to Vancouver? Um, I don't think so. Because I, don't I mean, think so either. Uh, not not like personally IRL people sure. I know on online, but yeah, I, I don't believe that, uh, the, uh, PA is going, um, it's, it's again, opposite side of Canada. Yeah. But it should be big. Um, Orlando is looking like it's going to be the biggest event ever. Like we're going to just break our record again. Um, let's go. Yeah. It should, should be larger than numbers. Charlotte. Is there, have they been... as of now we're talking like 900 some odd registered players already. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah. By, it, by it depends fun, I mean... who will show up, but yeah. Hopefully it's not terrible. Uh, was it well, Charlotte well, wasn't bad because they they got once it got going it was perfectly fine. It took them what like 
30 minutes 40 minutes the, to, to, to the pass kicker, out the kicker for max points is only like 512 or something like that so we easily, easily make that no matter what yes yeah that's true uh wait is that true i thought um i think there's another one at like 1024 but whatever yeah, it's like, like 1024 but we're we won't make that i don't think they have enough switches or enough docks to to make that ever happen what a wild thing that has to be of concern but uh so yes we'll definitely make the the 512 kicker no 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 issue there uh i hope i hope that orlando they have uh at least twice the space they had last year because it was bad yeah yeah Real so bad last little, year a little rough i i think they were shocked themselves at how big big yeah. the, uh, the game has gotten yeah um, probably so. Charlotte, charlotte was a lot better that way this year so i think it'll be the same charlotte was great yeah um but you and I are going to Orlando. Sheldon's not going to Orlando, if I remember correctly. Yeah, unfortunately, the Pokesports guys aren't either. So um, it's going to be a little smaller than we expected it to be. Yeah, NAIC is what group. I'm looking forward to personally. I'm so excited for NAIC. It's going to be very fun. Between, uh, the, between Orlando and NAIC, I, will, I promise you, uh, Rowan, this is, this is me publicly promising you that I'll actually practice more. I just have a lot of stuff coming up here. I'm going to Japan in a week, right? So I'm not going to... I, I, there's a lot on my mind. You know, they have they have showdown in Japan too. Yeah, I know, and and actually, I I, I might I, I'm I'm bringing my little Chromebook, so I like I might actually do that. But there uh, there'll be other things that I gotta think about. Uh, you know, like Japan and all the Japanese I don't know, uh, and all the good no, sushi. Enjoy, enjoy your vacation, man. I will, even though I'm going to the land of Pokemon. I'm just I'm just a little late to worlds. Okay, we're not going to Yokohama. Um, but yeah, in all series, land no, of Pokemon. No, like I, I will say, like the thing that made the biggest difference recently for me is that I have just been consistently playing sets. Like you don't like targeted practice is better. Like you can, I think there's there's playing smart and there's playing just to play, and obviously playing smart and targeting your practice is always gonna be more efficient. Yeah, but just work has been brutal recently for me, and I just on, on lunch break play two or three best of three sets on the ladder. That's and what you need to get think, in the habit of. And I think getting comfortable with your stuff and just like instinctually like this is like these are the options i have and you'd be surprised how many times the same situation comes up especially when the meta starts to stabilize like this you're you're yeah. not seeing some weird iron valiant nonsense like and also nowhere, as you climb ladder time as you're up higher and ladder you may want to climb the ladder too. a little bit too yeah but yeah it, it evens out with people being not as good at the lower ranks so it's yeah like, that's, that's yes they point. brought iron valiant but you can just kill it yeah, there's uh, maybe maybe that'll be a theme of of the uh, episodes uh, in in April and in May is is how to practice better, mainly for my own benefit. But I think that's a smart. I see you still laser pointer in your. Yeah, your I'm cat. just kind of doing it blindly. I I, I, I can't see at the corner of my camera. So, but uh, uh, let me see. Come he's on, just me... watching. Why not? I don't hear yeah. any footprints going behind me. So uh, footsteps. There we go. Normally, like, kind of clomps around. I just made your screen bigger on my screen so I can actually see your... He's staring. He's looking. Anyway. Um, yeah, practice is a thing. Uh, but that's a, that's a different... That's another conversation. Uh, have you played any other games as of late? Yeah, no. Honestly, no. It's the only game I've been really? playing recently. Uh, to, I, I realized that I hadn't actually played Pokemon even outside of VGC uh, in months. My Switch was still in the backpack that I brought to Charlotte. Um, before really? this MSS, yeah, I was dead, completely dead. I had to charge it and wow. update everything so that I could get the team on it. Yeah, but, uh, we... yeah, it took it took me like several hours of uh, it, it, one all but one of them like went seventeen and one, but it took me a long time to get up to Master Ball again. Right, you you see, you were just doing that, right? Like you, yeah, you wanted yeah, to get I, the, I, the I got the last I got the last couple of my lunch break today. Nice. Yeah, that's I don't know. That's what I need to do is is get just on don't my play on cart. Play it. Play, play not on cart. No, sure. Yeah. yeah, no, no, no. I, I I'm just doing that because I was indulging myself. I wanted ribbons on my guys. I think the other thing too on the on the note of practicing and prepping for Orlando, it's what? How many weeks out is Orlando? Uh, one, uh, two, one three. Month. Well, yeah, so it's a month out. So it gets four weeks. Uh, I think I need to pick a single team or <laughs> archetype and just go with it and and just commit commit this week and then you know prep in the, in the next three um uh, just so i can have all that practice like you said of just what's the mental equivalent of muscle memory right like it's the same thing kind yeah of. i 
it, it's yeah just just get in the habit of thinking about turns and stuff like i, I don't know yeah that, that that is the cool thing about the game there is no muscle memory like a lot of players come out of retirement quote unquote it's just they know how to think like yep 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 yep, yep. i think we're both uh all very entertained by your cat right now i haven't been i i can hear him Oh, you can't I think my, see I think I think the window I have is too small to actually see him. I'm just kind of doing circles. Oh, uh, you should you should uh, you can make your screen bigger, I think, or make my screen smaller. Anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is this is this is a great audio content. Um. Oh our, goodness. Our cold open will just be a cat running in circles. It'll be great. That might be very funny. Um. Helldivers is great. I did, yeah. <laughs> have you been playing Helldivers alone? Do you have a group? Uh, I do why, have you, why haven't you invited us to your group? Uh, I didn't know you guys had it. No, you... we, we were we were asking to play it together. It doesn't seem like a single player game. So I've I've done randos. Um, like I've I've ran, random queued and playing solo. I think is just terrible. Like I don't think the the game is meant to be at all play like by yourself. Uh, I think playing with randos is better than that. So so my shame. Right for a Pokemon podcast is that uh, I've not been doing what you said you've been doing and playing Showdown uh, on your random gaming breaks you can take. I've been playing Helldivers. That's fair. That's a, that's a fun game. I was doing that with Hell World for a while. Like yeah, I jump in. Cool. Also, Hell uh, Helldivers for me scratches a gaming itch that I've had for years. Uh, I used to be really big into Overwatch. Like okay, okay, four or five years ago, whatever it was. Um, like since Overwatch came out for about three to five years whatever and then i just then we my whole group of friends i played with just dropped off the game uh but i've been scratching that like chasing that itch like what is it like an arcade-esque fps co-op game, shooter yeah. co-op shooter that's like that's that's good uh and hell divers is scratching that itch so well right now um because it's 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 mission based right so you you, you drop in with uh you know randos or, or friends or whomever you do a, a mission you do side missions and you get out and like the missions are designed to take no more like longer ones go like 40 plus minutes but you don't have to do that you can you can rush the objective most of the time in like under 20 pretty easily granted that's easy to do with you know on comms with friends and whatnot but if you're doing it random then you're gonna have a rough time but yeah it's super fun we need to play i didn't know like i knew i know cap was looking at getting it i know you're looking at getting it i don't know if you actually got it no, I never actually bought it. I was waiting until we actually got a group together. I can I can download it whenever I want. Oh, well, hold on. Uh, I like, I want to. We should hell divers. All right, that's it. I put it in a little. That's what we got. Group. Okay, cool. Um, I, um, my current like the the next games I do want to play solo though. I realized mm -hmm. I was going through my backlog or really looking through the the carts on my Switch was that. I have several games that I played up until like close to the final act and never actually finished. So like Tears of the Kingdom, you I am sound like me. Tears of the Kingdom, I'm sitting in front of Ganon. Like I've got all the, I finished all the temples months and months ago, never actually beat them. I uh, Pikmin Four, almost done with the game, didn't actually finish it. I thought and, you finished that game. Okay, no, I got I got very close to the end and uh, like got distracted by something, uh, probably a regional. And, sure. Uh, Bayonetta Three, I am nearly at the end. I got. All I also the, thought you finished of, that. I got all of the demon powers and everything, like very close to the end. Never actually finished it. And yeah. all of them are the kinds of games where you do. Kind of, like, Pikmin Four is very easy, so maybe not. But like, especially Bayonetta is like I got. I had muscle memory and all these combos and everything built in. Now I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe I can like lower the difficulty just to see the end of the story. But right, because that's like a sing That's like I think you described it as a single player fighting game. Yeah, yeah, and like right. or story -based super fun game. when you're getting into it. But yeah. Um, at this point, it's looking like the next non-Pokemon game I really get into will end up being the the League of Legends fighter, but I believe that's a 2025 release date, so I need something before that for sure. Oh, true. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I definitely thought you you were you were talking about those uh, those games so much when they came yeah, out. Yeah, like, I, 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 I played them, them a lot, but uh, didn't actually finish them. Yeah, I got to the very end and just got distracted. Fair enough. Enough. Um. Yeah. So we okay. So we should definitely, in the interim, this weekend, play we should play Helldivers. Cool. cool. And then we yeah. talk about it next week, and then other things. It'd be nice. great. Um, we are, let's see. About 40 minutes. You want to call it here? I think, I think, we think we have a shorter episode this time. I'm definitely going to have a shorter episode. I was going to offer the... Uh, oh, the... did we ever do the audience no. questions? Oh, audience. Why don't, why don't we do that? Let's do, let's do some audience stuff.
Um, so this is uh, it's it's. I'm gonna come out and just say it's gonna be poultry. That's the word, right? No, poultry. No, what's the word? Is that a word? P a l t r i. Both of those are words. I, I don't know if they mean what you think they mean. Yeah, poultry, small, minor. Yes, Pol- poultry okay. is small. Poultry is chicken. Pol- yes, poultry is chicken. That's that's a that's a uh, that would be a, a foul mistake of of words if I uh, said poultry instead of poultry. I definitely meant poultry. Um, but for some reason, I thought poultry, poultry wasn't right. Anyway, sorry, audience stuff. I am uh, better now, uh, was not very good in the beginning, of putting questions and stuff in Spotify. So if you're listening on Spotify, you can see it there. Uh, those questions, I'm just kind of jumping through the first one that I see was from, with, with, with interaction, uh, was episode 47. We're recording right now episode 79. Wow. Yeah. So that was wow, the, that was, we were late. Yeah, so I'm super That's sorry. Like the better part of a year. Yep. Uh and this one was a <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Uh this was actually just a uh, an episode I think I had with Mike. Uh and then he's like someone Brooke said we need one with Kevin as well. That was only 9 months ago. So <laughs> All right. Which I think I did an episode. No, I did a post sports episode with Kevin. So uh you almost got your wish. That's pretty funny. I'm just going to click through a couple of these and then we will... Uh, should I share my screen so you can see this? Sure. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, let me see you if can I send can them to me too. know how to do that. It's... I don't know how to do that uh, for reasons. Hold on. This is great. There We're we go. professionals or something, right? Here we go. We are. So looking through, this is all the, the stuff. So that was... Um, how's that let's look at regionals and rate rangents which was one of our more popular episodes actually according to numbers um i meant to in q a what did i say random i just said i just said we said for this episode and i bet i can find it on youtube as well um we just said comment rangents and you guys did and i'm so appreciative what, what is rangents i'm so random tangents that was me and sheldon Okay. That, was, that was Sheldon and I going off on, on, on uh, again, random tangents, and it was terrible. It was a bad joke that went through that whole episode. Uh, I love it. Let me see. I'm, I'm pulling over onto YouTube, too. Same thing. If I go to comments, um, Pokesports also did rangents. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I should have gone through these. I'm so sorry. This is uh, great audio content. Uh, and picked out good ones, but I didn't do that. So I'm going to go back to Spotify. Um, a what was more your favorite part one. of the DLC? Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, Gargoyle said Carmine. Carmine. You know Which what? is fair. Car- Car- Carmine was probably the best character, question mark. Carmine and um, Kiki, whatever his I name did, was. I, I, I hated her less than I hated Kieran, so we'll Kieran. go with that. Uh, I, I like that they both had an arc. I don't like how the arcs ha- happened necessarily, but I think that's uh, okay. Um, so I agree. So thank you again, Gargoyle. Uh, gonna go find the next one. What are people looking forward to most in the DLC? Uh, wow. Uh, this is Darby Roberts said three months ago, unrelated to the question of the week, but I want, I just finished listening to episode 16. I would like to know what we have to do to make Harrison reading every item and ability episode happen. So first off, I want to say th- we met Darby at, at Charlotte, so that was that was really cool. Um, oh yeah, that's Darby. Yeah. Oh, hi, um, cool. Whoops. Yeah, and I don't know what we have to do, Harrison. You're gonna have to, you have to tell us. I won't be there. Or like no. No, the the idea for this again, this was well back. In I, I will watch 15. the video and just scrub about every five to ten minutes to make sure you're not cheating. That's fine. I, yeah. I won't, if I do this, I won't cheat. Hey. Give me some credit, okay? You just can kind of assume people will tune out after the first, like, five minutes or so, right? Yeah, I'll put in a, a redemption code for something. I don't know. I'll, 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 maybe I'll hide something when I do this. This is, like, good OnlyFans content, yeah. There you go. I think it should be two episodes, one for abilities, one for items. And I will just do them at some point. When, I, when we need an episode. <laughs> when we need an episode. Could have been uh, last week. 
could have been last week. Oh man, I should just record them and have them like in the chamber, like ready to go. Like, ah, oh, we need to just go. Send send one out. Do the thing. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually pretty funny. I forgot that I we talked about that back in the before times. Uh, let's see. What Pokemon are you looking forward to returning in the DLC? That's just Tapu Koko. In- oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Oh. There was no Tapu Koko. Big sad. I, I, I wish that too. I, I mean, God, there's so many future mons that would have been enabled, are going to be enabled once Maridon comes. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I was sad at no Tapus too. Like, future mons are just objectively worse, like, 90% of the time. What, what, what do we have in Violet? We have Iron Hands that's, that's, and, and Bundle. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Like, those but, are the two who have such insane stats that it doesn't matter. All the other ones are so mid. Yeah, but imagine if they if they actually had the terrain to work with. Yeah. That would I, be I amazing. Want that. I want that. We're going to get it. Maridon plus an Iron Bundle is going to be so good. Uh, Timmy it just gave be. us a thumbs up. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, uh, Timmy's thumbs up for... The did you, deep... Oh, did you did you like this deep dive style of regional analysis? Yeah, okay. Yeah, which we... Uh, I think definitely... we've effectively been doing that since, yeah. We we've we've iterated on it. Um, we we definitely have our own flavor of looking at a regional and talking about it in uh in the way the game corner does, and I think that's okay. I I like the way we do it, uh, because it's what interests me about I it. I feel like it's me bl- blabbing like half the time, <laughs> and I think that's perfectly fine. What do you think about different communities in gaming, Connor? I enjoy gaming communities in general. I really enjoy the more casual side of Pokemon, and I have some friends in uh, that. I have some friends that I free for all with and shiny hunt. Thank you. My gosh, I can't read. I think it's nice that we all have something we enjoy. I agree. I think that's. I think having something we all enjoy is the best part of gaming communities. This was back in episode sixty-two. Yeah. For I, I, I do wonder sometimes if the way I talk about the game is like not conducive to like having people actually listen. Um, and they you, like Ashton says she's tried to watch my videos before. I'm just like this is so dry and like data oriented that I got bored. And I was like, you know what? That's totally fair. I can't even blame has, you. Has she watched uh, your stuff that you put on YouTube? Or yeah, yeah, she's watched my the stuff. Game like corner. as a, uh, no, I, I don't think she's watched this at all. <laughs> but Perfect. she's watched. Uh, <laughs> she's she's watched my videos and just been like. I can tell you know what you're talking about, but I don't know what you're talking about. So I stopped. I was like, I can't blame you. That's why we need. So so we need to have the like. Rowan knows a lot of things and knows them but really doesn't well. Doesn't know how to talk to humans. And then you have Harrison, who doesn't know anything, and he will uh, take what Rowan says and translate it. To it, speak are, are, to are, it you, like are you sure? Are you sure you want to take the role of good speaking person? I'm with being what mean. I, I'm being mean right now. With what we've <laughs> said, with what I've said today, absolutely not. I will take. I will take the role of dumb. Oh. I will take that, and and I will. I will. Pr- I will hold that flag proudly. Um. No, I hate speaking. Why do I do a podcast? <laughs> uh. Let's see. That's we did that one already. Yeah, we did. Uh, we should have lined at, these up beforehand. We. Sh- I really should have. I'm super, super uh, ahead. We got a bunch of stuff on YouTube, though. Oh, okay. Uh, some other comments. I think YouTube might actually be more more commentful um, than than uh, Spotify, which makes a lot of sense because YouTube is a better social media platform than uh, Spotify is. So we we'll definitely have a lot more activity there. Um, I want to shout out Ho Kacho. He is a personal friend of mine uh, from college. You comment on a lot of stuff here, and uh, I I love all of your comments. Uh, some I think of us most... here for the podcast for the uh, the hot tub only, which I I appreciate that. Oh wait, who said that? Oh, who said that? Hot. Uh, let's see. It's kind of weird how how parallel Charlotte was for Row and VGC on Cobra and TCG. Uh, almost identical weekends. Less hot tubs. Uh, but that's yeah, that's fair. You know, There's hot tubs one. are better. Your your command F got one more. Let's see, where's the other one? Oh. I'm here for the hot tub pod and no other reason. Uh, oh, thank it's, you. oh, it's Carter. 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 Thank you, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Carter, over at Little we, Root Lessons, please check them out. We, we did that just for you, Carter, yes. Uh, Little Root Lessons, love them. Uh, Lupus also comments in here, you know, uh, that, was, that was him commenting on his episode that he was on the, the podcast for, which is great. Um, that's what we need to do. We need to get more people on the pod. That's the thing that uh, I should, we should aim for more again. Uh, that's hey, I can't speak. Why do I do a podcast? 
Um, and as of late, as of late, we had a lot of uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up your name. I'm so sorry, M Mazhard Siddiqui at Maz Mazhard. I'm I butchered that. I'm so sorry. You've been pretty active as of late, so pretty excited to see you know your comments uh, on the last couple of uh, last few episodes. Um, so so looking forward to your comments, friend. Uh, appreciate you uh, all as always. Uh, but yeah, so I think I think that's a pretty good uh, uh, covering. Of, we'll, we'll, we'll round up. Yeah, we could we could have done better. We'll uh, we'll actually organize this ahead of time next time. I don't think this is a we can't do this off the cuff as easily as we thought we could. But no, it's, it's no, really I've it's not... really awesome to see people uh, like actually answering the questions and stuff. I've like my notifications on the the YouTube app are I think they're messed up because they were set to my own channel, which I haven't published to for ages. So yeah, this is. Uh, yeah. I, I really appreciate it. We we really appreciate it. Like, um, yeah, yeah we'll, you know, we'll we'll try to do this more often. Well, yeah, we definitely. I I, I want to do this to encourage more. Like, you know, we we do read them. We I I, I try to always kind of like at least heart or, or respond to the stuff on YouTube. Uh, spot. I I have no idea how the interaction on Spotify is supposed to work. Um, but it's there, and I appreciate you you guys you know answering questions or and whatnot. Uh, but it's definitely meant to like encourage that. You know, like we are we are truly reading them uh and, and really it means a lot to to the classic youtube you know like comment subscribe uh the comments do actually like it it gives a little bit of joy uh and, and satisfaction for us you know putting out this content as 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 much as we do um which is very very funny uh but yeah i think that covers it yeah. i think that's an episode on that uh, note yes i do need to go back to work on the day before my birthday sad times um Tomorrow's your birthday. It is my birthday tomorrow. Oh, well, happy birthday! Thank happy you. Tomorrow birthday. Happy yeah, I will celebrate by continuing to work. Past yeah, that's five p.m. <laughs> that's mm, I hate that for you. Um, comment happy birthday to Rowan. That's that's going to be the engagement for this episode. Um, and 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 condolences to his free time. Uh, until next time though, or that's not how i transitioned to this i'd like to thank rob kta for the short theme song goldenrod game corner off the ultra ball album <gasps> i have been harris and you can find me at row underscore ixin on all the stuff and rowan who are you uh, i'm rowan you can find me just here pretty much i may do a video on the team i played the mss but i'll probably wait until post orlando because uh I don't want to go over all my game plans on you, on a video. Just you, can, you should definitely either make it before Orlando and publish it at Orlando, or you should wait till after Orlando so you can talk about how well you did in Orlando with that team. Yeah, it, it'll be a little more depressing if I like vibe for it in Orlando. <laughs> yeah, you know that's uh, that might be true. Um, all right, let me get out of there. There we go. Yeah, fair point. Together, we have been the Game Corner. You can find us at Game Corner VGC, uh, the Game Corner VGC, all the stuff down below. Um, and yeah, comment happy birthday to Rowan uh, in, in stuff below. And until next time, rest start and game on. Bye.